For those people who are watching who are just kind of living semester by semester or, or even week by week, um, what are some ways to help them think long term so that way they move from a microwave youth ministry to a crockpot recipe, crockpot, crockpot youth ministry? The one thing I would do is this, is I look at my freshman class, or I, I look at, um, so when I got here, the largest class in all of my youth ministry was my freshman class, who are now going to be seniors this year, which is crazy. So I have a huge senior class that's graduating with a, with a lot of smaller classes underneath. but. Um, but a previous size eighth grade class. And so I looked at my freshman class when I first got here and I thought about what do I want these kids to look like by the time they graduate our youth ministry. Mm -hmm. And so I look at each different kid and I look at their personality. Well, this girl is going to be YouTube famous one day. This guy is a, is a star athlete. This kid's really, really smart. What would I want them to look like four years from now when they're leaving, when, when I have to do that slideshow that takes an hour of the, senior, of the student minister, of the, of the main service, of all their baby pictures. What do I want them to look like at that day? And, and then I think about what will I, what will that take? You know what I'm saying? Will it take um, getting rid of some uh, just fun events to focusing on more discipleship oriented events? Will that look like um, me upping uh, more female leaders so that way we can focus on our girls ministry? Like what would that look like long term? And how would, what are the steps to implement those visions and those, 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 those thoughts? So like for example, we had a lot of musicians in that freshman class and I thought, at that, until that point, all we had were college interns and college people doing worship. I said, these kids uh, are already musically talented. If I can get them a part of the youth ministry, they're going to have ownership of the youth ministry, and therefore they'll, they'll, they'll see what kind of ministry it looks like to at least bare minimum lead worship. And so I started doing a, a, a process where I started kicking out college students and bringing in the students, the, these freshmen who've never played in front of their friends before, to lead worship. Now the, there's only one person on the entire band who's not in, uh, that's not a high school kid, and that's the lead, the lead guy who sings. And so, and so now because they've been able to lead worship, you can see them transforming their view of ministry, of their youth ministry experience, and things like that, and um, and, and so on and so forth. It's not perfect. It's only been yeah. you know, two and a half, three years, but it's getting there. It's getting to that level where I, it's kind of going in all cylinders. And um, so, what are some things that you would say to people who are like, okay, I get it. We want to have a longer vision. Uh, we want to look towards the future and. and and, and, and for this youth ministry to be what God wants it to be, it's not going to be, you know, just bringing in a band yeah. tomorrow. It's going to be a, a process. What would you, what kind of advice would you give them? Well, a couple of things that, that I've, I've applied to the past two churches that I've been at. I've, I do have a plan. I've got a four-year plan. All right. I, had a, I, I used to call it a five-year plan until Brad Morgan corrected me and said, well, actually, that's a four-year plan. <laughs> um, the, the first thing is the entire year of yeah. Wednesday nights. Now, Sunday morning is different. You know, a lot of times you've got to evaluate. You might have an unhealthy su <clears throat> Sunday morning, uh, whether you call it uh, Sunday school or small groups or whatever, whether you do it on Sunday night. It, do it doesn't matter. You need to evaluate your, your student ministries. When I come in, the, inf the entire, there's a teaching a year I spend on the, the substance or has something to do with the subject of unity. Mm. All right? the body and all that kind of stuff about, you know, why we, you know, why we do church kind of thing. And I spent the whole first year, every Wednesday night message had to do something with unity because that was it. They had to be unified with me. We had to get to know them and all that kind of stuff. Then the next year, uh, year two was what does an authentic follower of Christ look like? Spent the whole year talking about Jesus, wow. whole year talking about it on, you know, uh, on, on Wednesday nights. And, and then uh, the third year was serve. Encourage them to serve their fellow men, serve their school, serve their team, serve the church, serve, serve it. We have 50 acres here with properties. A lot of it's got woods and stuff. There's a lot of places to serve. So, I mean, there's just serve. And then year four, which is we were just kind of wrapping up uh, that one, is, is to release. Release them. Hopefully, if a student has been through, understands what unity is, understands what authentic Christ follower looks like, uh, understands, understands how to serve, uh, then to release them. Uh, and so I've used that. It's worked for me. You feel free to s steal it. I, I didn't. I don't think I stole it from anybody. But I, you know, probably did. Yeah. Creativity. Um, forgetting who you stole it from. So, uh, so that's a that's a big deal. If you are in a search team capacity, if you're looking for a church and you come in and you tell them that you've got even something similar to that, I mean, they're gonna. They've never had. I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. Most churches have never had somebody with a vision to understand, you know what, year four is going to look, I, I remember specifically talking about, you know, year four and five, there's going to be a vacuum of leadership. We're going to mm -hmm. graduate out some solid students and there's going to be kind of a, 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 
a, a vacuum of where everybody fits. We're in that right now with our student, students mm. and student ministry and student leadership. So it's, it's fun. I, I've, I'm not panicking because I've been there before, yeah. but we've got some students who are like, oh, what do we do? What are my roles? Who, you know, we graduated out, what, five seniors from our student band? Mm -hmm. That's a big gap to yeah. fill. All right. Yeah, we lost one. In the, in the whole time, you yeah. know, we, we, we talk about them big picture wise, long term. You know, I tell them, you need to replace yourself. You yeah. need to just be looking out there. You need to replace yourself. Now, that doesn't mean they handpick them, but, you know, encourage a seventh grader to pick up the guitar. Play with them, you know, different things. We've got a, a, an incoming seventh grader that's our drummer wow. this year. I'm super stoked because you don't know. I mean, you know, he's, it's all new to him. You know, yeah. as far as he, he, he's like a drum track. Doom, twack, doom, twack, <laughs> doom, twack. Uh, but but, grow. but yeah. it'll grow. Yeah. So yeah. Those, yeah. those are all good questions, Frank. Yeah. Thank you guys for, for hanging out with us and listening. My name's Dustin Sams. Again, you can hit, it, hit at me at, on, on Twitter at, at Dustin Sams. Fairly simple. One M, though, I did realize that there's some oh, people yeah, that think that there's S A M M S, but it's D U S T I N S A M S. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. God bless.